So what I'm understanding is that you're unsure if you are the father of either of these two children. I am. When I did am you become unsure? unsure? Um, the day that she was, well, the day that she told me that she was pregnant. Yes. Um, How did you react when she told you that she was pregnant? To be honest, at first, this is what happened. I blocked her when she told me that she was pregnant. Oh. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be real. I did. Were you together when she told you she was pregnant? No. So you weren't even together in a relationship? No, no. Got it. So you block her. Yeah. And then when did you unblock her to actually have a conversation? I unblocked her when I was having a, like, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with one, a good friend of mine, and he was basically telling me, like, yo, listen, man, if you know what you did, and you was with her, step up to the plate, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? Do what you got to do. And you stepped up. I did. So, but in your mind, who else could have been the father of her son? Her previous boyfriend, the person I was the side piece for. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you think that potentially this man could have been the, the father. Yes, and sir. Because you were just together, you side piece, then just together for a month, to, a month and a half to two. Yes. Got yes. it. She's messing with other people. Right. So you basically then just said, I'm going to accept the role of the side piece. Basically. Got yeah, it. Okay, I, I got it. Okay. So then what happened with her second child, the daughter? Okay. Your daughter. This was recent. I never, I never knew that she was messing with somebody else um, when she told me that she was pregnant with my daughter. Got it. Because at that time, we wasn't together, but we, I thought we was clear that it was just like us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nobody else. So I didn't know that she had no, like somebody else that she was messing with before. Got it. She never told me that this person Baby, my daughter could be mine or anything of like that nature. I, it was the same thing from the time that she was pregnant with my son. She told me I was happy, and I was probably even more happier, honestly. Because this time, you're like, we're together. Yeah, or, exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Not together, but you think you're not talking to anybody else. Exactly. So I was even more ecstatic. I was happy. I was just like, okay. And I, I even played like the, the biggest part. I was there for everything. I was there yeah. for the umbilical cord quitting. I was there for wow. um, the birth. I took... The video, I was there for literally everything from the time that they was born up to the time, you know, right now. Wow. So how did you find out she may not be yours? I, I well, through argument. It through was an argument. argument. We had an argument um, recently, it's like a month ago. And as we was arguing, she said something to me that hit. Uh -huh. And what, what she was said was, be happy that, the baby, that your daughter is yours and not the person I'm with now. Now, that, 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 that really, like, it really hit. Like, I understand. But it, it, it hit me when I got home, like, what do you mean by that? Like, what, what are you trying to say? And then, it's crazy because after, like... Be happy your daughter's not the other man. Yeah. yeah wow, yeah. okay. Um, by her telling me that... Do uh, you have real emotions for this woman? I do. I yeah. do. Um, because I know that we can joke around with you, the fact that y'all never stayed in a committed relationship, you were a side piece, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, if you're, you're raising these kids with her, these, you love them, you're there. This is a woman you love and you cherish. I do. Did you, did you hope at one point that there would be a future? I did. You did? I, um, um, I, I do. I love her so much. Yeah. Here you go, brother. It's all right. Here you go. Here you go, brother. Do you think she loves you? Honestly, I don't really know. Mm, okay. Well, I think it's time to meet Denise and find out her side of this story. And also, I want to know if she loves you. So everyone, please welcome Denise to the show. First of all, my producers are telling me before we even start that you said you have a, there's a confession you have to make. It's a few other people. What do when you When it mean? comes to my son. So there's more. It's more than just your ex and him yes. that could potentially be the father. Yes. Did you know that? I did not know. Okay. I... Um, how does that make you feel hearing that information? Yeah, got it. What about your daughter? Is it just, is he the only potential person or? No. No? There's multiple people there too? Yeah. Okay. But he, he knew what it was at the end of the day, so don't, like, it's sit that, here. It's not that I got knew what it was. It's just, like, you, first of all, don't, you, wait, you, hold on, but let me talk, you, though. Let me talk, let me talk, me. let me talk, because he knew what it was from the beginning. Uh -huh. We was really never together. He lied, he cheated, he did all that, you know what I'm saying? He did so, admit to that. He did admit to that. Did you ever consider him a relationship, or was he always a side piece to you? Yes, I did consider him, but he was, he, he, he definitely was, okay. you know, but, but that's because that's what he wanted to be, you know, that's what, that's what he started, that's what he started off 
to be with the side piece. You feel what I'm That's saying? That's how I started he off. Knew... But when I started like burning out my feelings, every time I tell you my feelings or how I feel about you, it's like you just misdirect them. It's like you just it goes one ear and out the other. It's like you never want to hear me. It's like you never want to hear what I got to say. And then you, everything you're talking about, understand that this happened a little while ago. I've been stopping my doggish ways for you. I've been yo. I put everything down just for you and the kids. And you cannot say. That is not a fact. I do everything for you and the kids. Everything. <laughs> everything. Yo, bro. I'm going to keep it real. I, 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 I do know I do know that I'm not a saint. I may not be the, the most perfect no, person. No, he does. So I may not be the most perfect person. He's a great person. father. Great father. You know but what when I mean? it comes to being in a relationship with me, hell no. Mm. Because you, know. you never want to take out to understand who I am and why I am as a person. You never want to take out, uh, you never want to communicate. And I always told you, communication is always You're a, a liar and you're a pathological liar. You're not just a liar, you're a pathological liar. You lie for nothing, absolutely no reason at all. Like, for what? Why would I want to be with somebody? And I tell you this time and time again, why would I want to be with somebody that keep lying? How long have you known that he may, may not be the father of your son or your daughter? Since day one? My, my son since day one, yeah. And your daughter? I didn't really like, I, I'm only saying that because I feel like she do look like him, but it's still, it's still a possibility. But with my son, it was like literally since basically you know since day, day one. one you know? Who are some of the other potential fathers? <laughs> I know we yeah, have. A couple people that I you know, used, used to talk to. Away, so we know we have Rodney, you know? we know we have the ex. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, so you're saying there's some mystery men we might not know that you don't talk to? But I also heard that as well, there's, um, the guy named Jay that we've invited yeah. here today, Jay. who's in the mm -hmm. audience. Jay, are you here? Hey, how we doing? Rodney, did you know about Jay? No. Nope. You ever heard of him? No. Nope. Okay. So, Jay, what are your thoughts on this situation? I thought this was a joke. Okay. Then I was, like, seriously, the producers called me, I thought this was a joke. I was taking it like a joke. Apparently this is not a joke. So I'm just here, you know, to find out if I have a kid or not. Yeah. I'd rather not. But I'm just, just here. Yeah. I'm just here. So you'd rather not. Don't even play with me like that. Don't even play with me like that. Because you're the same that I wrote me talking about, can we be a family? Talking about, can I come to your hotel room? Don't even oh, play with me like that. that. I definitely what? didn't do that one. What? I definitely didn't do it. So you ain't know that my son could possibly be yours? You didn't know that, right? You didn't know that, right? So if, like, we could pull up some messages, that wouldn't be you either? Nah. Oh, okay. Why? Because you got like five. So, what is the situation like, between you two? Right? That's what is, crazy. What's the situation crazy. between you two? He's wow for that. We're friends. We're just cool. You're friends. We're just and you're saying, and, and point blank, you're saying because so you dated? Did you hook up? What was it? We're just hanging out on weekends. So you hung out. So you yeah. were never in a relationship. So it was just hanging out and sexual. You slept together a couple times. A couple times. Okay. Yeah, then. a couple times. Jay, I want to invite you down here because I'm going to get to the DNA truth right now, and I think you should be down here. Come on down. Let's go have a fun day. It's going to be amazing. Let's do it. All right, well, first we're going to look at the DNA truth for um, your son. Rodney, in this envelope is the DNA truth if you are Braylon's father. Right. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I am. Please read it out loud for us. Rodney is not Braylon's biological father. Aww. Got it. So sorry. Um, you you kind of said you had a possibility of knowing that? I did. I did. So that was in your mind? I did, yeah. Um, how does it make you feel knowing this information? Yo, at the end of the day, that's still my boy. I love him. I know you guys hear me all the time. I'm not, it's not going to make me feel no different, you know? It's not going to make, it's not going to erase anything that happens in the past. I was still different everything, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, he's still my son, you know? So I don't know what's going to happen after. So that means, what's going on through your mind right now? Because I see you tearing up. Okay. So this means that it could be Jay's or the ex's. Jay's, you've been over there smiling. Huh? Um, you've been over there smiling. What is your thoughts? You've been very clear that you didn't, you know, this was just something you messed around with. You didn't want this. And that this is, you don't want the child. You've been very clear. And I, Yo, I, I don't, I'm not going to say that I can knock you if you've not been involved in the situation, if y'all weren't really dating, for you to get shocked by my producers to say, hey, you got to have a child. I understand why you thought this could be a joke. But you're saying it's not. But what's going on in your head? What's, what's, what's the smiles for? Because are you nervous? 
Yeah, nervous is the word. There we go. Yeah, so nervous. nervous. Yeah. All right, well, um, in this DNA envelope right here is the truth. Are you ready for this? No. I no, know no. you're not. <laughs> well, this hey, is your I truth to open. It's wonderful. You want to open it? No? Okay. Right. fine. Can you read it out loud for us? Huh? What does it say? Um, Jay is Braylon's biological dad. <laughs> so wonderful. So wonderful. So wonderful. So you just found out you have a son? New kid. What's going through my mind is that... This is a lot for you to process. Not only that... That nigga's really that ass. He wanted to have a kid with me. Oh. I did. You feel what I'm saying? So when we did what we did, it was on some like, yeah, you're going to be my first baby mother. You feel what I'm saying? Because tell them what your name is. Huh? Tell them what your name is. My name is Jay. What they call you. Jerome? What you call yourself, actually. <laughs> he calls himself Puppy. Poppy. That's that what is he call himself. Wicked. You, it is. That is That's what you call wicked. yourself, right? As my son got older. Well, you were older, claiming it. You were calling yourself these names. I mean. As my son got older, he looked just like him. Jay, do you have, so other, I wrote do you have him. other children? Hmm? I have zero. No. You have no children. Nah, I, wrote, I wrote him so and this I is told your him first there was child. a possibility. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's a whole person. Yeah. That looks. Even down to the ears. So, hearing you say that now, God. that means in your mind you kind of already knew. I knew though. I knew. Oh, you did know. I knew, but I how can I? I didn't like. I was trying to prove it, and I told him, Jay. Did I did not you tell you? Did you know that she was telling? When my son was Jay? one years old. Yeah, nothing about him. He knows nothing about him, he about him. No. and he know nothing about him. So if you thought for sure that this would be, if he, that Jay was a father and you saw your son looking like him, mm -hmm. why didn't you let everybody in though? <laughs> I did like, I, I, I been told him that before I had my son, you know, that it's a possibility. This is what I'm gonna do, Jay. I'm gonna give you some time. If you need help navigating the emotions or where you're at right now, I'm here for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you backstage, um, let you process this information. Um, and we have to get to the results of the, your daughter. So I'll be back there in a little bit if you need some help. I love children, and I've, I've always wanted to be a father, so I would never, ever take anybody away from their children. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm happy, you know, that we got to the bottom of this, so it's like, bro, do what you gotta do. You know, you got a son now, you find out you have a kid, so obviously I want you to get to know your child. You feel yeah. what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But now if I'm finding out that Brianna might not be mine, where does that leave me? Yeah. Well, I think it's time to get to the DNA truth of this as well. Um, so, Brianna, who you've been raising, how old is she now? One. She's one years old. Um, again, this is your truth to open, not mine. Please read us and tell us what it says. Rodney, you are not. My last school father. Brother, come here. Let me give you a hug, man. Come here, man. Come here, brother. Mm. Damn. I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I know, man. I know. I know. I know. Um, there you go. What do you have to say? What are your thoughts? What do you want to say to him? I really am sorry. <laughs> Rodney, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so do you know who these mystery men are? Have you been in contact with them? Yeah. And have you been able to tell them what's going on? Oh, they know. Yeah, they know. Yeah. Um... Rodney, I'll tell you this. This has been a lot of information that you received all at once, and I'm very sorry, especially when you just said you're in a spot in your life right now where things are not the best. I'm so sorry. We don't understand in these moments what it's most to mean for us and what lesson we're supposed to learn and how we're supposed to use this as a tool to grow. And um, in time, that will reveal itself. But right now, I need you to understand that you're going to go through a, a process of grieving. You're going to have to grieve the life you had, the relationships you had, and also try to figure out what's new. And I want you to know, as you're on that process of grieving and figuring it out, I want to be here to support you. 
and any conversations you need, I got you, okay? Seriously. Seriously. Um, and if there's any support that you need in talking to these other two men and finding out the truth, let us know. I think for you, this is probably one of the best things that can happen for you because what's happening is all the secrecy, the things that's been going on in your head, you're getting purged of that. Yes, it's affecting other people's lives, yeah. um, but at the end of the day, this truth ultimately is going to support these kids in having the best life yeah. because it's better while they're young to find out information and versus being 15, 20, 30, right. 40 um, and feeling as if their life is a lie. So I appreciate you being honest and I appreciate you trusting me with your story and know that I'm here for you with these men. But I do have one last question for you. Rodney asked, is there space in, for him in your kid's life? And I wanna know from you, do you think there's space in your kid's life for him? How I can put it is yes, actually. But how? Well, I think, I think with once tempers, once motions are settled, y'all can figure that out to some he, degree. He, he loved my kids, but he good. These good. kids ain't his. He gonna go on about his life. You know, all he probably need is like a month, something like that. He good. Okay. I know he loved my kids, though. I know he do, but trust me, he good. That's, that's the weight off his back. Any support you need, figuring this out and grieving, I'm here for you. Can't get enough of Karamo? Then subscribe to our YouTube page right here and check your local listings to watch on your TV.